guys, welcome back to Irene Tarot Card. I'm Ren. Welcome to this week's vlog. There's a little bit going on in this week's vlog, and as per usual, I'll share the process of this oil painting I completed this week with you, bit by bit. Um, but yeah, it's been a busy week. Um, right now, it's the lead up to football finals in Australia, and a lot of people are really into their football in Australia. I'm not a big fan of it. However, I do watch Geelong play every now and then. And we actually won the whole grand final last year. And when that happens, Geelong just celebrates. Everyone's in the streets. It's sort of a crazy night of celebration. But we're not doing as well this year, um, which we can't win every year. So that's fine. Been watching a bit of that and checking out pizza places in our area, trying to find a really good new pizza place. You're looking at reviews? No. Oh, for bad pizza? No. Mexicana pizza. Ooh. Yeah, it looks alright. It's like smoked chilies or something. Four or six or five. I know. Like this fucking huge. Let's what a go. fucking take. Let's go. You better not be. Oh, no, he's alright. Holmes is front. okay. He's, he's right in front of it. You've got to fucking get this. Come on. <laughs> That's how it's done, Geelong. We also attended my niece Violet's baptism this week. I'm actually a godmother to my other niece, Vivian. However, Violet's going to go to a Catholic school, so she needs to have Catholic godparents. So we attended the church with our family, went to my sister's, uh, went out to lunch, and then back to my sister's for some drinks. So that was a lovely day out. We also had friends for dinner a couple nights this week, and I attended Shelby's baby shower. So Shelby is Jasmine's best friend. They've been best friends since prep. And she used to spend almost every weekend at my place and has always sort of said to me, she sees me as a second mum. And she's pregnant with a little boy and she's asked me to be godparent to her little boy, which is very exciting. So she had a nice little shower. We had a nice little gathering to go to, which was lovely. And then also this week it was Teresa's birthday and it was my sister's birthday. And on the day of my sister's birthday, we, well, a few days after her actual birthday because it was midweek, but we um, gathered at my mum's, um, celebrated for a bit. Then we headed to a Hungarian cabaret, which was lovely um, for National Hungarian Day. Um, I used to do Hungarian dancing and it was led by my old Hungarian dance teacher who also had a little performance on. So that was a really lovely day out. So for the painting, to begin with, it was just about getting the sky in, the clouds in, the basic backdrop to the water and the sand. Um, yeah, just super basic layer.
So for Violet's baptism, we headed to a Catholic church and that took a while as, you know, per usual. Um, so we were there for a little while and then all ended up heading out to lunch together, which was nice. And then back to my sister's to keep celebrating for a little bit. Dawn of creation, you are spirit raised on the waters, making them the wellspring of all holiness. The waters of the great flood, you made a sign of the waters of peace. Amen. Let us put our hands together for her. Then next on the water, I worked on the water shadows, um, just adding all the darks and mid-tones basically, just to create some motion and um, background to where all the highlights will go later on. So it was my best friend Teresa's birthday this past week and we had her over for dinner one night to celebrate over a nice dinner and many, many, many drinks <laughs> um, until one, two o'clock in the morning. We never seem to run out of things to talk about with Teresa. It's always great when we get together. Is that a one litre or, or a yeah, two litre? one litre. Oh, we have bigger than that. three bottles of it because Mum and Tony, when they came for dinner, they gifted a bottle, and then we bought a bottle, and then Susie and Chubba gifted a, bo a bottle when they a came. Bottle. I'm like, we've got three that, bottles of Jack now. That's, that's, that looks like two litres, like my years ago when they were. 21. 21. <laughs> 21, yeah. 21 all over again. Yeah, plus that's, 20. <laughs> plus 20. Plus 20. <laughs> that's, that's down the track. That's a new 21. Salt's <laughs> on You have to consult. Yeah, salt definitely. Yeah, just to get that bark, you know, the bark on it, the bark on it, and the enzymes in the steak too. It's got the fry pan hot as, so it pours olive oil in the pan. And they go, that burns it. You just, you can't have olive oil at a certain temperature. I always see it. Fun? Oh, it was, it was lovely. Feeling the cockatoos again? Definitely. Yes, we love our cockatoos. That's so good. Yeah, good. Thank you, Mums. You're very welcome. That has like a bit of Italian, a bit of Hungarian, a bit of Greek, a bit of whatever. Oh yeah, it means. Mm -hmm. You and I've got, you know, that that is. We've got, you know, you've, I've got the the Greek, the um Cypriot, the Turkish. Turkish. Mm -hmm. You've got like the Hungarian, the Macedonian. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, Teresa's yeah. Turkish. You've Cypriot. Got... Yeah. Fine. On the Monday when we first moved in to pack all the stuff away, that oh, was a good. day in lieu. So that's good, you know. Like you got your day in lieu, and then yeah, whenever she barks, like the people that meet her for the first time think, oh, she barks, she barks. But it's her way of talking. Yeah, yeah. 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 as you know, yeah. 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 Oh. You see that it starts when you barks and what she's talking to Yeah. And like sometimes you don't have touch it. Awesome. They're not very salty these ones, but they're alright. 
Then we also had Shelby over for dinner and the following day after she came for dinner was her baby shower, which just ended up being a small gathering, mainly family, a few friends. Um, so we attended that with Jazz. Say hi. Oh, hello. She's a pregnant lady. Yes. <laughs> yes, little bubby. Oh, not that hard. It was one time. <laughs> <'Cause it's laughs> <after four o'clock. laughs> Children, go. That's because of Jasmine's fascination with dinosaurs. She was so excited when she found out you're having a boy. She's like, I can buy dinosaur stuff. <laughs> There's a lot of dinosaur stuff in here, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> I'm keeping, I'm keeping but there's, there's one right. thing that I think that you will like more than the dinosaurs. Oh, it's even got a TV in there. A row. A row. Next thing to tackle on the painting was some detail on the rocks and some of the highlights and the distant waves. So as I said, it was my sister's birthday and the day of, we ended up going to a Hungarian cabaret, watched a bit of a performance, we danced a little bit, we had a few drinks, we had a lovely meal, so it was really nice and then we headed back to my mum's and had some more drinks as Hungarians tend to do to celebrate things um, and yeah, it was lovely, it was a nice little get together. Yeah, it's strawberry, so you like it because it's a strawberry. I said at like least it. it's strawberry and not cherry. Yeah, absolutely. Cheers. Happy birthday to you. into the painting, crashing over the rocks, the water runoff on the beach, um, some more detail in the existing waves, so that sort of brought the painting together.
So this week, because I already had quite a lot of footage, um, even though I did make a few more complicated meals, um, a couple of Hungarian meals, various different things, fish, um, but I thought I'd include something just really quick and simple in this week's vlog. So I made some Middle Eastern spiced kebabs. We love a good kebab every now and then, and you can make a perfectly good kebab at home within a half an hour, so I highly recommend you to give this one a go. So I'm using pork loin today, but you can definitely use lamb or chicken, so I'm going to use some pork loin to put in our kebabs, and I'm going to do smoked paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, cumin, coriander, and some chilli. I'm just going to do some oven baked chips, sometimes I do wedges with these. I've just got some smoked paprika, some onion powder and salt and a spray of oil and they'll go straight in the oven. For the actual wraps, I'm just going to keep it pretty traditional with um, just some lettuce, some tomato, some red onion and I'm going to have coriander in mine. And for the sauce, we're going to use some Greek yogurt, some lemon, some sweet paprika, and some garlic, salt, and pepper. Trim your pork of fat and sinew and chop it all, or lamb or chicken or whatever you're using, and into a hot pan it goes. And then we go in with all our spices. So salt, pepper, smoked paprika, the onion powder, garlic powder, cumin, coriander, and chili, all in with the pork. So with your sauce, just add your salt, pepper, sweet paprika and some chopped garlic to some natural yogurt and the juice of one lemon. And we'll give that a good stir and we're going to dollop it on the salad and then on top of the pork also, so plenty of the sauce. I just laid out my salads, put some coriander on mine, otherwise just onion, tomato and lettuce on our wraps. So dollop some sauce on your wraps and then we're going to go in with our pork, wrap them up and we're ready to go. Serve your seasoned and spiced chips on the side and enjoy. Jay gave me such a great compliment. He actually said it was the best kebab he's ever eaten. So that was lovely, um, but it's really straightforward. You can, you know, try with chicken or lamb or basically any meat substitute even, as long as you add all the spices, it's absolutely delicious. So I highly recommend you give it a go. But then on the painting, it was time to finish it up. And all I really did was tweaked a few things, added a few more highlights, a little bit more detail to the waves that are crashing in the foreground. And that was it for this one. I'm not sure if I like this painting very much, but um, yeah, it'll probably just go to the stall um, instead of like actually being hung in the restaurant to sell or anything like that. So yeah, it is what it is. And that's all I have this week guys. Thank you so much for joining me and watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you'll enjoy me next time as well for another oil painting and vlog as per usual. I hope you have a great week and a great weekend and thanks for watching. Bye guys.